What is up, Pro Guides family? If you're like me, you've been inside playing Fortnite all week. That's the one redeeming factor about this crazy coronavirus stuff, so we don't have to feel guilty playing video games inside. All right, let's talk about some of the players everyone needs to watch out for this season. With overpowered mythic weapons sweeping the meta, the coronavirus ending most of our hopes for another World Cup, heavy snipers on every other corner, everyone's asking, what is going on with competitive Fortnite? Even with the announcement of the brand new duos FNCS, the entire competitive scene seems to be in complete shambles. But a few daring players have stuck around and managed to make themselves what we call a diamond in the rough. And if you guys want to be like any of these diamond in the rough players, then make sure to go to ProGuides.com and find yourself a pro player coach right now. They're gonna help you become amazing. Even if there is no World Cup because of the coronavirus, you're still going to be able to compete in the FNCS and all that great stuff. Also guys, if you wanna watch some of these videos on Instagram, we actually do have an Instagram that we haven't really promoted at all. It's called Pro Guides Fortnite. So go follow at Pro Guides Fortnite and get all of these videos on there too. All right guys, let's get into the video. 50 months. Nice! Nice! Get finishes, bro! Oh. Yeah, just look! Oh my god! 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 Benji Fishy is one of the most insane mechanical players in the world and one of my personal favorite overall players. Let's be real here, he is not a diamond in the rough, he is just a pure diamond. Benji is an absolute nut mechanically, with lightning fast reflexes, insane editing and building, and aim that we've hardly ever seen on such high sensitivity. But above all else, he's one of the best, most consistent solo players in the world right now. We've seen Benji absolutely pop off constantly in the Chapter 2 Season 1 Cash Cups, and there's no reason for us not to expect it again. I mean, he's consistently got top 10 in almost every single one he played and grabbed him first in two of them. That's almost unheard of. Even some of the world's top pros can't do that. Out of every single solo player who played the Cups, which might be well over 50,000 people per cash cup, Benji played better than every single one of them twice. That's just crazy. So expect to see my boy Benji Fishy at the top once again, especially in solo cups when they just start rolling around. And by the way, just to let you guys know, Benji actually partnered up with us to make an exclusive course that you'll find on ProGuides.com. So if you want to see that, go check it out from the legend himself. Our next player is going to be Epic Whale, who's also one of the highest earning players in esports history, having won over a million dollars by clutching up third place in the Fortnite World Cup. One interesting aspect of Epic Whale's gameplay, and one that makes us think he's miles ahead of the meta, is the fact that he doesn't only play on one input. Epic Whale is what we call a hybrid player, which means he plays mouse and keyboard and controller, not only one or the other. And honestly, with how unpredictable Epic Games is, and the uncertainty of what's going on in the meta in the future, it really seems like these players who have that knowledge of both platforms are going to be an absolute dominant factor in the future. Not only is Epic Whale an insane player, but being a hybrid player definitely seems like something really beneficial. So regardless of which input device ends up being meta, you can expect to still see Epic Whale on top. Moving on to the third player on our list, we're heading back over to Europe where we've got the controller legend Wolfies. Wolfies has been among the best for a while now. Not only does he have $1.2 million in earnings, most notably from the Fortnite World Cup, where he and his duo Rojo clutched up second place, but he's also still to this day one of the most insane mechanical players we've ever seen. Just one minute of his gameplay, like you're seeing right now, can say a lot. And on top of all this, Wolfies has one last advantage that's worth noting. You may have heard that Legacy Aim Assist, aka the Aim Assist style most pro controller players seem to be using, was removed. Well, Wolfies is ahead of the curve in that department. Let me tell you this, Wolfies is all about his linear. I mean, his creator code is literally just the word linear, so he was already among the best, but with his advantage over other controller players now, you can expect him to be way ahead of the curve for a long time to come. 
Okay, now there's no denying that Mr. Savage has been one of the most dominant figures in the past two seasons of competitive. Even with two cash cup wins and multiple placements in the top three, he still sort of went under the radar during season one. However, right at the end, Savage popped off and proved all the haters wrong at DreamHack Anaheim. <laughs> Not only is Savage known as a mechanical legend, but his 200 IQ plays and knowledge of seemingly every strategy in the book makes him one of the deadliest players in fights. And even playing on one of the highest sensitivities we've seen from a serious competitive player, Savage still manages to hit those clutch shots we all wish we could have a chance at. Overall, Savage is an insane consistent player. With his pop-off in the Anaheim tournament, we're excited to see how he does this season. I guess the name Savage does fit him pretty well because he's an absolute legend. This next one is, well, an interesting pick. Next up, we've got my boy Young Calculator. Okay, Young Calc is actually one of my favorite streamers. The kid's absolutely hilarious, and I don't feel like he gets enough credit. The reason Calc is on this list is due to his insane consistency in team modes. Calc's team of Zexro and Macwood managed to grab first place in the trios in FNCS, and adding Vinny to their squad, they got second place in squads, falling only a few points behind Unknown Squad. Unlike a lot of pros who have one insane trait that makes them stand out, Kalk is a very well-rounded player. He has really good mechanics, solid game sense, really good aim, and he's just overall a really good player in basically every category. I'm really looking forward to seeing how Kalk does in Duo's FNCS, whether he manages to snatch that first place spot this time around, I guess we'll see. Sixth up on our list is the OG Fortnite player, Zayt. If you don't know about him by now, Zayt is widely known as the best IGL or in-game leader in the entire world. Essentially, he has one of the best game sense and game knowledge that we've ever seen. Zayt has been consistently one of the best, dating back all the way to the Summer Skirmish and the Fall Skirmish. Not only is Zayt a solid player on his own, but he especially shines in team modes. Just looking at his squad's performance where he IGL'd for Commandment, High Sky, and Saf, they got first place in three out of four qualifier weeks, which was the best in the world. And then they got first in their heat. Unfortunately, they didn't manage to pick up the win in the grand finals, but it was still an insane performance nonetheless. While we're talking about him, we might as well mention his fourth place finish at the World Cup with Saf, splitting $1.5 million amongst each other. Wow, that's a lot of money. Overall, Zayt is just one of the most consistent and skilled IGLs in the world, and you can expect him to continue his consistency in the upcoming seasons. All right, so speaking of OG competitive players, let's talk about Ghost Bizzle. Let me start off by saying the Bizzle is one of the most skilled, consistent land players ever to play Fortnite, placing in the top five or winning first place in almost every land he's played in, and recently grabbing second place just behind Mr. Savage in the DreamHack Anaheim Grand Finals. On top of this, Bizzle's consistency in almost every other tournament is absolutely nuts. We've hardly ever seen him play below expectations. He's placed top 50 in every solo cup of this chapter, with plenty of very high placements sprinkled in. Grab third place with a squad of Mega, Dubs, and Eclipse during the squad's FNCS, and so much more. Overall, Bizzle is another one of those insanely consistent players we just can't see going down anytime soon. Eighth on our list is TSM's newest pickup, Kanata. Kanata is simply one of the most consistent solo players in the world, winning three of the NA East Solo Cash Cups last season and grabbing 12th in DreamHack Anaheim. But Kanata's no Cash Cup warrior, as he managed to grab second in his squad seat and seventh in the finals, then got first place in one of the qualifier weeks and third in their heat with Fiber and Tifu. One funny part about TSM picking Kanata up is that it was leaked super early. Kanata actually changed his in-game name to TSM Kanata a few days before the announcement, so basically everyone knew. The tweet TSM posted said, welcome to the worst kept secret, which was pretty fitting for the situation. All silly stuff aside, Kanata is a beast of a player and we're excited to see him continue to perform in his new duo's FNCS. Moving back onto NA West, we've got one of the newest members of 100 Thieves and one of the most consistent overall players in both solo and team modes, 
Rex. Rex is one of my top picks for the upcoming season simply due to his consistency. He places top 10 in almost every cash cup he plays, winning and placing among the top few in plenty of them. Got third place in the squad grand finals, another third place in the trios FNCS, after also placing first in their heat and in the week five qualifiers. On top of all this, Rex did pretty darn well with the DreamHack Anaheim tournament, playing really well all days and getting 19th in the finals. He had a few scuffed games, but he played really well overall and was one of my favorites going into the event. If you're up to date with the West competitive scene, you'll know that Rex is an absolute beast. And if he isn't already on your radar, he definitely should be. Rex is a beast. But anyway, let's get to our last pick of the list. Last up on our list is Zexro. Recently, Zexro has been an absolute force to reckon with in team modes, becoming the Season X champions with his trio of Macwood and Young Cal, who was already on this list and grabbing second place in squads, only a few points behind the winning squad. I might also mention that Zexro is a really solid solo player, grabbing eighth place in the Australian Open and performing pretty well in DreamHack Anaheim, making it to the finals, but unfortunately not popping off there. One thing that makes Zexro stand out is his sensitivity change. If you didn't know, Zexro almost doubled his sensitivity recently after being a low sense player since all the way back to the beginning of his competitive career. The reason why he raised the sensitivity was to accommodate for the new meta. Instead of just box fighting in general, it's also a common strategy now that traps are removed to simply jump into someone's box brainlessly. To adapt to this, Zexro is one of the first of what will likely be a ton of pros making the switch to high sensitivity. And I think that sensitivity change will bring his gameplay to a new level. Fortnite Competitive has been a roller coaster of different metas and changes. The players on this list are ones that we expect to dominate this new meta, either through pure consistency or having rare or lesser scene traits that might help keep them ahead of other pros. That's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below which pro you think is the best diamond in the rough. And once again, if you guys want to get better at Fortnite this season, make sure to check out ProGuides.com using the description below and find your pro coach right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, if you want to follow our Instagram, it's at ProGuidesFortnite. It's been a pleasure making this video for you guys. Once again, I am Kristoff. Thank you so much for watching and good luck in your next few games.